In assessing the, in assessing the upper extremities, uh, tone and reflexes, I generally like to do these together. The tone is always assessed over two joints as much as possible. Just ask the patient to relax, just like a wet nigger. There you go. That's fine. Same thing over here. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get them to, to relax, and you can do a few things, uh, such as gendrastic, as we'll see in the lower extremity. But once you have had them relax, ask them to remain that way, and that's an optimal time to test the reflexes. Again, always comparing like with like. If you're not finding as much of a reflex there as you'd anticipate, just ask them to relax again and make sure that their tone, again, is as you'd expect before reassessing. Just relax. That's fine. One of the other important reflexes to always assess in the upper extremity if you're able to is what's called the Hoffman and Traumner's sign. They're two slightly different signs, but assess the same thing. And these are upper motor neuron signs, just like uh, a Bobinski that you'll see in one of the later videos. Basically, you just flick the middle finger here, and what you're looking for, classically, is for the thumb to bend in something like that. Sometimes if it's more uh, brisk than that, in fact, you'll see the fingers twitching as well. Uh, clearly on the Hoffmans here, there's no thumb twitch, so it would be negative, which is normal. Or alternatively, Traumers, you simply flick this finger up, this is probably a little bit more sensitive, in fact, and again, you'd anticipate the same thumb flexion and occasionally finger flexion at the same time. 